Hello everyone, my name is Inka Kim. This video is a case study portfolio video about data driven. In this video, we will elaborate on the application of data analysis to improve business performance. So, what is data? Everything we see and do is actually a data. For example, the time we spend scrolling Facebook or the amount of money we spend in an online game. These are data. In this case, what is actually data analytics? Basically, data analytics is a process of evaluating and converting raw data into useful information. For example, telco companies like Maxis and U-Mobile will gather and perform data analytics on different kinds of data from all the platforms such as YouTube, Facebook or Instagram. So, how does data analytics work? Firstly, the data obtained is stored in a database. Then, whenever a data is requested from the client side, like they ask for how many users played Mobile Legends in year 2020, relevant data will be searched and extracted from the database and tidy up to be displayed as useful information in the form of patterns, conclusions or illustrations. Here are some of the common tools that are involved in the process of data analytics include programming languages like Python and SQL, software like Microsoft Excel, an Irving Data Modeler, and many, many more. Hi, my name is Lim Yen Kai. I'm from Tutorial 2 Group 8. So let's talk about where and how data is collected. So there are two main types of data collection. One is primary data collection. The other one is secondary data collection. So what primary data collection is, it's a collection of raw data done by researchers such as ISPs or telco companies, and also social media. And secondary data collection is collecting data that has already been collected by another source. So essentially collecting data from a primary source. So secondary and primary data collectors often collaborate. And uh, an example would be, let's say a secondary data collector is a retail store and they want to open an outlet in area A. So before they open an outlet there, they want to find out what's the age group of people around the area and what's the income group, let's say. So they would obtain that data from the primary data collector. So the primary data collector would obtain the raw data, let's say it's a telco company, and then they will clean up the data into just figures and sort out certain number groups into band. So let's say from age 20 to age 30 is band 2 and they would pass on that data to the secondary collector and then they can make a decision whether they want to open the store there or not. Hello, I'm Junkyat. So I'm talking about applying data analytics in business. So the company want to do data analytics is because they want to make a better product or provide a better service from analyzing the customer. So they also want to do the predictive analysis to reduce the risk, also manage the business more efficiently. Besides, they also want to use data to assess business performance or carry out major decisions. So, uh, a few examples about the data analytics business. So, for, first is e-commerce. So, e-commerce will do something like call segmentation to get their demographic and customer behavior from the data. Then, they will carry out specific events to target desired customer based on the demographic and also the customer behavior. So, data company like Telcom, this is uh, and Maxis, they will do something called churn model to use algorithm predict how many users will stop subscribe the data plan. So they will hold a few events uh, to prevent the customer churn out from the data plan. Events such as uh, one uh, ringgit to get a new mobile phone or maybe one ringgit to get 10 GB data is also uh, this series of events. Uh. So they also do something called profiling. Profiling is actually data analysis to do analysis about the past event. If the event is successful, then they will do they uh, continue carry out the event. Uh. If the event is not successful, they will stop the event or maybe design a new event. Hi, I'm Chatek Heng. For the data analytic process, first step, data requirement specification is divine variable for study. After that is data collection and the purpose is gathering information on targeted variable. After data processing is data cleaning, and this step is used to prevent duplicated data or null value for easier working of the data analyst step. In analyst step, data analysts would use statistical data model such as correlation, regression analysts 
to identify the relation among the data variable. At last, using table and chart for help in communicating with the user. For the whom may fulfill to learn data analytics, actually almost everyone can learn. Most of the data analysts are use WPS for their work. So, language such as R, Python, SAS, and SQL are the basics requirement. However, this job is not suitable for everyone because it requires logical and rational thinking. Moreover, it was high pressure due to the significance of data in our current digital landscape. So, this job requires people with strong stress resistance and learning ability. In a nutshell, data is very powerful for our life. Data analysts can use the data to predict the trend and make a useful suggestion for client. Due to its characteristic, it is likely a field that will continue being significant in the business work for many, many more decades to come. Thank you.